Friday morning. We are, it's kind of raining. We are in Santa Barbara County. We are at Lake Kachuma, which is really dry again. Bummer. Last time we were here in 2019, it was like the highest it had been in years. It was at like, what, 80% capacity? It's, um, I'll show you what it is. It's not good. That's husband. Yeah, this is supposed to be an area where you fish. It's also really overcast. Oh, Kachuma. So this is the reservoir, right? Okay, stop me if I'm wrong, babe. It's the reservoir where they get the water for Santa Barbara, like 30% or 50% allocated. Um, but it has its struggles when it's a drought. It does not, does not uh, survive well. So that's where we are today. But it's a beautiful hike. If I think this fog is gonna burn off, I hope, we'll see. So hopefully the fog is gonna burn off. Brought a little picnic snack to have along the way. It's about five miles, estimating about two hours of hiking time. Here we go. sleeping. Hi. What you doing, buddy? Hello. <laughs> Very classy. Good job. Do we need cheese dip? Do we need this? Sure. Mm -hmm. Hold. Here we go. Here's the stuff. Oh, that's poisonberry. Oh, they're almost out of all lolly berries. Oh, we're gonna get the last three.
afternoon. It is, well, Friday evening at seven o'clock. We are headed to dinner over in Pismo Beach. We're staying in Apple Beach. We are headed over, we just went to a tasting. We went over to ask if they were doing tastings and like, did we need a reservation? And they were like, sit down, come in. We're members there. That is actually the wine club that we have been members longest. We were members, that was the first wine club we ever joined, Alipay Cellars in Apple Beach. We joined, we were living in LA, and then we moved back to Pittsburgh. They couldn't ship for a while, so we had to cancel our membership, and then they called us and they were like, hey, we can ship to Pennsylvania. So they were the first one that we rejoined whenever they were able to ship to Pennsylvania again. So we've been members there forever. We we're headed to dinner at the Oyster Loft, which is one of the most picturesque and delicious places. It is the place I had dinner the night of my first ever marathon. I was actually able to eat a lot of the food. Sometimes after long runs, I can't really eat. So tonight I'm hoping we can eat a lot. So we are headed over there now. Why are you laughing at me? I, I enjoy your enthusiasm for life. Enthusiasm for life. Remind him of this, folks, whenever he's like, Oh my God, my wife is being so extra all over again. They're like, no, you like her enthusiasm for life. this morning. It's supposed to be a long run. I don't have any food <laughs> because it's early. Oh, I haven't been taking care of my body so I just figured I'd run out to the pier and back. It should be about four miles I think. Give or take. But here we are. I go see the sea lions. That's where we're staying. Like over there is Avila Beach. Whoa, over there. This is Port San Luis. The old port inn has closed at the end of the thing there. We used to go to dinner there before they had really nice restaurants in <laughs> slow. It's a little bit older, but still good. Okay, they've gotten them a raft. They used to just be under the pier. Now they've gotten them a raft like the sea lions uh, up in San Francisco, so this is hilarious. Here they are. Some very nice sounds. <laughs> They're so funny. It's cold out here. It's like 40 degrees. I imagine the water is really cold. Uh oh, let your friend up. Oh, rude. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, there's a seagull. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? They are, but there's a whole little group of them over here <laughs> playing in the water. Let's see if we can see them here. We got a fin up in the air. They're listening to Jimmy Buffett, clearly. <laughs> what are they doing? There's so many of them now that it was not this much last time we were over here. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, and then what happened? Oh, and then what happened? Oh, I see. Yeah. That really did. Wow. Would never have believed it. Yep. The old cordon used to be. This is creepy. I feel like I'm in a part I'm not supposed to be in. <laughs> I know that's it's not marked, but it's uh, weird. so empty out here. There's little sea lions on those things. That one and this green one here. I don't know if you can see them. Please use in. They're on there being adorable. They're just so cute and funny. And very Layla Grace esque. So here's the back of the pier. So this is this used to be the old port in. I don't know if they closed because of COVID or if they just closed. But uh, this is the back of the pier here. There's a fishing tour going out. That's what that is there. Some loud ass seagulls, and the sun is starting to peek through. Okay, so here's the thing with coming to California. We get all these awesome mustard, jellies, olive oils, like stuff that we get at the wineries here. Whalebone in particular has a ton of good shit. The other one that I love is Ganey and Castoro. Those are like the top three. And then we go to the farm, which you saw yesterday, the Avila Barn, and we get some other stuff there. Oh, Sunstone also has these really good dipping sauces. I love them. This is stuff I got at the Avila Barn yesterday. So just lots of good stuff, but obviously you gotta get it home somehow. So what we do is we get these shipping, these, um, what we do is we get these priority mail flat rate boxes from the post office. And then I use my clothing and I like make layers and then I wrap the clothes, the, jars and stuff in clothing and put it in here and then we mail it home to ourselves that way. That has worked out to be the best thing to do to get all of this home um, safely. Every year I usually lose one item. <laughs> Depends on the year which one it is but uh, I usually lose one but most of it makes it very safely. I try to write like fragile on the box and all that and that only goes so far apparently sometimes at the post office but anyway so that is what is on the agenda this morning. We were supposed to go for a tasting at 10, 15, and it was just too much to get all this done and then get our, get us dropped off at the post office before two. It was just was not working out mentally for me. I did do a short run, as you saw this morning, um, just out to the pier and back. So Anyway, that is what I am doing. Husband is dropping off uh, our last case of wine that we're shipping home. So he's doing that. They have a shipper in Bealton that can ship, you know, from yourself to yourself. And they are able to ship wine. So that's what we do. We ship through them. And then that way it comes to our house. We don't have to take it on the plane. We used to have to take it on the plane and now they can ship wine to Pennsylvania. They have their license for that. So that is what we do. So we are gonna get these done. He's taking the last box and then we're gonna go get some brunch. All right, the final update. We have six boxes. We did not need these two. These are gonna go back. So we got six boxes packed up. We're about to go have some brunch and then take them to the post office.
it's your birthday. Happy birthday, I'm not gonna sing the song. Blow out the candle. Do it. <laughs> you just laughed out the candle. <laughs> that work out. Make a wish. I think I had to do it before I blew out the candle. Oh, it's... I have lots of wishes. It's beautiful. humans from Sunday night and not my actual house as you can probably tell. Uh, we are not even in California anymore. We are in scenic Dallas, Texas right now. We uh, got to Santa Barbara this morning and sat in the airport and it is looking this light. There we go. That's better. You didn't see my eyes all see where the photo style. Uh, we got to the Santa Barbara airport and we were sitting there and we were about to board and they came on and said Something's wrong. We haven't gotten the okay from the pilot. Give us five minutes so Two hours later the end result is that there was a mechanical failure on the plane They were able to fix that which was not terrifying at all because they said things like everybody Please do a good luck dance that we can get this working Y'all know I believe in good luck dances, but not when it comes to airlines. So anyway, that's what happened. And, uh, so, flight got delayed. So they were like, well, we can put you on standby for a flight out of Dallas tomorrow. We can put you on standby for a flight out of Dallas tomorrow. I'm like, but I have to be at the store at 9 a.m. So thankfully, Liza, the best partner in the entire world of pharmacy partners, is able to cover my shift tomorrow. So I'm gonna cover her shift next Tuesday. We're just gonna swap shifts. So that worked out okay. Um, but it was very stressful in the moment leading up to it. And I had Reed on standby and I was like, okay, I need everybody to back me up here. So I had to switch hands because in the other hand, the camera makes my face look very wide and this one works better. So anyway, we just also had an update to our trip. But, so here's what's going on, right? So we, what's the last I said? Okay, so then they say, oh, uh, the failure, they said, first of all, um, sometimes it's like your car and you just restart it and then it works. And they're like, we're going to try to restart it and see if it works and we'll come back in five minutes. And in five minutes they were like, it didn't work. So we're like, oh, okay, well, cool. So what's next? So then they came back and they were like, well, we are going to work on connections for everybody because we might not be able to use this plane. But then they came back and they said that they were able to fix the thing. They're like, oh, very good. Yay. Um, so we got on a plane and it was delayed. So of course we were gonna, we only had a 40 minute layover between our connecting flight here. So we were going to miss that. So they were like, oh, you know what? There's nothing we can do tonight. But, so I worked everything out with work. So they're like, we'll put you on this plane 2.25 tomorrow, Monday. You'll get home at 6.30. I'm like, it's not ideal, but it's better. We'll be home in daylight. So my parents can come pick us up at the airport instead of having to take a lift. That'll be good. So I'm like, okay, we'll make that work. Well then, well then, so we get there. First of all, there was fucking ter terrible turbulence on the plane, which is like when you tell us that there was a mechanical failure that had to be fixed and then there's terrible turbulence and then they didn't come on and be like, we're going through some bumpy skies here. We'll just hold on a minute, put your seatbelts on. They didn't do any of that shit. They just let us out in the wild on these turbulent skies and didn't fucking tell us what was going on. And it was like, I was like crying into my poo bear. It was very emotional. So husband keeps giving me updates on the new flight. And so that's why I keep stopping and restarting. So. Turbulent fucking flight. They didn't tell us it was gonna be turbulent. 
They said, it's going to be smooth skies as soon as we get out of Santa Barbara. And I was like, oh, okay. No, we're fucking out over the ocean, in the wild. The plane is just bouncing around. It's just terrifying. And we fucking survived it. But it was a close call. It was a really close call. So anyway, I'm here. I'm telling you this story so that I can tell you this one, which is that I just stress ate an entire little bag of these salsitas. If you've never tried these, they're really good. They're a little less spicy than I remembered. I would have eaten them earlier, but I'm glad I didn't. I need them tonight at the Wyndham Wingate Hotel of fucking Dallas, Texas. So anyway, so we land and they said, they gave us these options, right? And it was like, one was like, you don't get a night overnight hotel, but you're in airports with three hour layovers with three more flights. And I'm like, no. So they're like, well, we'll put you up in a hotel in Dallas and you can leave at two o'clock tomorrow and be home at 6.30. And I'm like, eh, okay, I guess that's the best. She's like, I'm putting you on standby in the event that your actual Pittsburgh flight is delayed also, and then you can get on it. But if it's not delayed, then you're on standby for this other one. You just go to the counter and say, we're on standby. And they told us to upgrade us to taking the seats. So we land in Pittsburgh. No, we land in Dallas. I wish we landed in Pittsburgh. <clears throat> we land in Dallas. And the flight that we were supposed to take says that we are that it's still a waiting takeoff. And we're like, oh. so like, if anybody has a connecting flight, leave the plane first. And so a bunch of us like jump off and we're like running. There's other Pittsburgh people. We're like, we're going to make it. No, fucking Dallas out airport is goddamn huge. And we had to take a fucking little train from one area to the other area because heaven forbid that American Airlines lands in the same place that it takes off. I don't fucking know. So while we were on the little train, our flight took off. So we missed it. So we got in line and we were in line for like half an hour. And then she was like, the only thing I can do for you is a 4.48 and you'll land at 8.20 p.m. So I'm like, well, what the fuck are we going to do? So I'm like, well, you know what? They're going to put us up in a hotel. I'm just going to go for a run in the morning. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to like work on some pictures. Just relax. We can watch the Golden Girls all morning. We, there's some Denny's right next to you here. We can have breakfast at Denny's. It'll be fine. Would you believe they won't give us our bags? They would not give us our bags. So we only have our carry-on items, which are our laptops, a bunch of souvenir wine glasses that we got from tasting rooms, a souvenir root beer bottle that we got from Route 66 root beer that we got purchased on Route 66, so I'm fucking saving that, and a hoodie and two pairs of sweatpants. These are the items that we have. No underwear, no toothbrushes, no body wash, nothing. Nothing for the next 24 hours. So anyway, so I'm like, what the fuck? And they're like, well, it'll take us hours to find your suitcase. I'm like, where is it? Like, it's one plane. You know what plane it was on. How many people's luggage are just out in space? So, like, whatever. So we're not even going to worry about it. Our medicine's on there, so none of us can take our nighttime medicine. I can't take my morning medicine. It's going to be fine. It's one day. Um, so... She says, we give you this thing. We get you food vouchers for $12. $12. $12. Anyway, so we're like, okay. So we go to our, she says, uh, go to this area. There's a shuttle. It's three minutes to the airport, from the airport to the hotel. This shuttle driver circled three times. We had one empty seat in this like minivan style shuttle. And he circled the terminal three times looking for a solo traveler to take that seat instead of just taking us to the fucking hotels and then bringing it back. So here we are. And I just want you to know that in Texas, you can order from the 7-Eleven app and they will send you wine. I mean, theoretically it's not here yet, but it should be here any minute. And so we'll, we'll report back. But I ordered wine, toothbrushes, <laughs> and smart water to be delivered from 7-Eleven. And then I just ordered us some Texas steakhouse dinner. Way more food than we need, but I'm fucking stressed and I'm gonna stress eat. And then husband just found out that we could switch our tickets to a flight that leaves Dallas at 6.30 tomorrow morning, has a layover in Charlotte, but we would get home. What time are we getting home now? But we'll be getting home at 1.30. Why didn't they tell us this when we were at the counter? Why? So anyway, he just switched our tickets to that. So we're going to get home much earlier than I thought we were, which is good. I still am not working tomorrow, but at least I'll have like, I can go for a run. 
That's all I really want to do is go for a fucking run tomorrow, so. My life. My life. I will report back with how this Texas Roadhouse food is, because it looks really good. And I might have gone a tiny bit overboard in my stress situation. So that's the update. We're going to put on some Golden Girls, get ready for this 7-Eleven wine to arrive, and sleep in our clothes because we don't have our jammies. What's that you have there? Is it bags from 7-Eleven? Did you have to show your ID? I did. They said that you would. Excuse me, I want to see what's in this. <laughs> I just want to put them directly on the bed. Oh, there's just wine. Ooh, body wash. And here's the stuff. You didn't happen to buy a cork screw, did you? Got a bottle of Josh Cellar. No, I didn't. Do you think we should ask the front desk? They don't have one. They usually do. Ask me how I know. Don't ask me how I know. If you want to call down. Keep filming. <laughs> That's why in the video she showed, uh, you gotta keep something pushed down there. You want me to get a pen? Yeah. I okay. I think you have to hold it in there the whole time or it's gonna keep doing this. Well, maybe not. Maybe you hit the, the ticket there. We are nothing if not industrious. Ready? To Dallas, Fort Worth. Does it taste like a pen? That's pretty good. Thank you, Josh. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> what the fuck did I order? I don't know. But the guys told me he appreciated me. Aw, that's nice. 